Everyone I spoke to you before, uh, you had just met Mike, you hadn't actually worked with him yet. Yeah. Now you guys have had a chance to work with the other half of the Heroes for Hire, as they call Yeah. Uh, what's that been like? Has it changed the dynamic between, between you two at really all? It's really great. The, um, it's, it feels effortless. Um, I kind of feel like when you've got a, a duo like this, which is so hyped up by the fans, there's a, uh, there's, a, there's a worry that it may be too oversold and you may be kind of trying too hard to create that, that spark. connection, that spark. But actually between me and Mike, uh, we get on really well. There's a really great energy between the two of us as actors. He's but also, so much he's fun. He's so much fun. And, but then also as the characters and the way the scenes are written, it's really interesting the way they're doing it. And it's a real slow build and it feels very real and very just dynamic and honest. And, some of the scenes in Defenders with uh, with Mike have been my favorite so far. Has Optimistic Danny been able to fit in with the darker, cynical side of the Marvel Netflix universe? Yes, but it gets him in a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, there's a lot of people out there to also, take advantage of it. by the time we get to Defenders, and this is so far ahead now, um, we've gone through, it's, it takes place several months after Iron Fist, so, you know, we've there's changed. Change. We've changed. Yeah, there's the a change. Characters. Danny isn't as, Danny's a little bit more world aware by the end of Iron Fist because of the, the things that happened to him. So he's still, he's still got that optimism and he's still got that drive, but it's not so, in Defenders, he's not so naive as he, as he is in, in, in Iron Fist. 